can see the effects of the shutdown all over town. It's terrible. President Obama now down to just one teleprompter. At the TSA, they're making passengers just fondle and grope themselves. It is so bad, Iran will now be forced to negotiate with Dennis Rodman. That's how bad a new Fox News poll shows that disapproval of the Republican Party during the shutdown has jumped to 59%. And that's a Fox News poll. That's like the real news saying it's 3,000%. This is not Armageddon. This is a pinprick. Yes, a government shutdown is no more damaging to the economy than a pinprick, okay? For instance, here's the economy. Here's the shutdown. See? Oh my gosh, the government shut down T-ball for late night comic, a pretty easy one. You know, since we've been talking here, the White House has already responded uh, to Speaker Boehner's uh, interview and the contention that there aren't enough votes in the House to pass the clean CR. The president's senior advisor, Dan Pfeiffer, tweeting to our own Jeff Zeleny, uh, either he is all wrong or all his members are lying. So one more piece of evidence that neither side is prepared to budge uh, just yet. Let, let, me, let me try to ask all of you then what I asked uh, Speaker Boehner just a little bit ago. It does seem like this is going to go on for at least a few more days. If we get up to that deadline on October 17th, we're in the final day. Which side is going to blink? Are there going to be negotiations? Are we going to go into default? Who will get the blame? Well, I think the, for, if we get up to, to the limit, the uh, speaker will put on the table probably an extension of the debt limit, raising it for five, six weeks, and he'll then probably attach something to it so he can get it through his members, maybe the president's uh, entitlement reforms in his own budget, see if the Senate Democrats will vote for that, try to get this extended, but say, look, Mr. President, we're being reasonable, come back to the table. Uh, and, and but that's at the last minute. There's no time for me. Well, uh, the, 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 you know, we, I, he may start a couple of days early, but that's, I think, how things are going to go here in the short term, and then we can redo this all again in <laughs> November. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I mean, heated agreement with Paul Morales. I think that's essentially what happens. First of all, I've been doing negotiations for 30 years. They always go to the deadline. We right. will be here at 8 o'clock on October 17th, I think. And then I think there'll be some short-term extension coupled with a little bit of give on both sides and a serious, uh, an announcement of a serious commitment to have some conversations about the whole budget picture. And then we'll see in six weeks what happens. So that nobody is accused of blinking. And that's what this, these scenarios uh, lay out, is that people have have a face-saving way to move on and not go to default. But, but there's no reason to have total confidence in that, George. I think I agree that's the likely scenario, but there's no reason to think that it's necessarily going to be that way. I mean, I think that the Republicans will try maybe only a two- or three-week extension at that point. <laughs> and I don't know that, that Democrats are going to go along with but, that. But just to be clear, that, you know, the president gave an interview to AP uh, over the weekend where he appeared not to rule out some kind of action on his own citing the 14th Amendment to unilaterally continue to honor America's obligations. But everyone in the White House and the Trade Department says, no, he is out of unilateral. Uh, and Jay Carney has said emphatically no, and he has also said not, the White House believes that they do not have the power to do that, and they also believe that it would not work. So it'll be an interesting dance if they, if they try to do that. And, you know, George, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, they, they may be able to blame the speaker on this, and, but if it brings this recession, if it brings something right, catastrophic, blame who everyone. was the speaker of the House in 1929? Right, right, exactly. I mean, Paul knows right. that it was Longworth, but you know, <laughs> uh, uh, ultimately the president right. owns it. Blame will go everywhere. You know, when you when you read uh, Piper's tweet, you know, is he lying or is he just wrong? It's sort of like kind of the, the problem. Not very mature, right? right. And it is going to go right to the end. Everyone's going to have to save face so they can, you know, end with this back and forth, and they'll they won't go over into a catastrophe. I, th I think I agree with all of you, but I'm a little bit more with John. I think the chances of, of actually tripping over into default are higher than they've ever been. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, right. before. One other subject before we go. President in that AP interview also weighing in on this whole controversy over what the Washington Redskins should be called. A lot of sports writers no longer uh, use the term. Uh, the chairman of the NFL, Roger Goodell, said perhaps the Redskins should take a look at it. Here was the president. Yes, Yesterday, if the, I were the owner of the team and I knew that there was a name of my team that was offending a sizable group of people, I'd think about changing it. All these mascots and team names related to Native Americans, Native Americans feel pretty strongly about it, and I don't know whether our attachment to a particular name should override the real legitimate concerns. Cook, you're a season ticket holder, right? I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How's the season going? <laughs> my big objection is they lose. Uh, but look, we wouldn't call a team the yellow skims or the brown skims. Uh, it would be absolutely 
absolutely unacceptable. And if, if people who are Native American are offended by it, we should pay attention to that. But basically, they need to start winning. <laughs> the way to gauge if it's offensive or not, right, is to walk into a bar full of Native Americans and yell out, Redskins, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be beaten up near to near death, right? So it's offensive. But it you know the owner is. of the Redskins, his attorney, Lanny Davis, has said that he keeps citing a poll that says 9 out of 10 Native Americans weren't offended by it. You know, and they poll all Americans and overwhelmingly also not offended. The bottom line is, I think that if you actually did that test and walk into a bar and say that, you would find that people have strong opinions on it. And you can't just say, well, it's been a long time, or listen, it's being shouted with joy and pride. The people who are offended are offended. I think that matters. I don't think I'm going to take your test, but John. <laughs> yeah, I won't try that either. Look, as a Dallas Cowboys fan, I hope they change Ooh. the name, and I am I am happy to give a lot of uh, suggestions. Uh, but look, if it's you know, if it's offensive, uh, and, and it clearly is offensive uh, to to a group of people, I mean, you've got to look at changing the name. Do you think you know well, so many people weighing in, Steve Ratner? But you know, Dan Snyder, the owner of the Redskins, pretty much uh, holding firm, even though he's getting all kinds. Never, of money, right? never money. Well, money. Look, Dan Snyder's a very tough guy, but it might be a little bit like John Boehner. You hang. <laughs> tough until you can't anymore. Uh, you know, there's, the, the name that's available that crossed my mind is the old baseball name, the Washington Senators, but that might be even more. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a real <laughs> fight. <laughs> it's it would be one thing to change it uh, from Redskins. You'd offend a lot of people, uh, paying customers just by that, but then to name it after politicians. <laughs> I mean, they boo politicians when right. they throw out the first pitch, right. and deservedly so. <laughs> so I, 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 and as for the president weighing in, I mean, obviously people want to know what he'll say, but I would say that right now he's got a day job he should pay attention to where he's not really managing it all. Probably that. not, but he's asked the question. He <laughs> asked the question. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, uh, th thanks for the advice, sir. How about your own problem? Picking up on C's, but I think the bigger problem these days might be the name Washington in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 You can change that, too. Right now, oh, uh, that's not going to change anytime soon. Thank you all for a great conversation today. Uh, we're going to come back in a minute with the mayor of the Internet, Redis Alexis Ohanian, in our Sunday Spotlight.